नमस्ते व्यूवर्स हियर वी आर अगेन लॉकड अप इन अवर हाउसेस ड्यू टू दिस कोविड सरकमस्टेंसेस एज यू आर अवेयर लास्ट ईयर ड्यू टू कोविड तड़ोबा अंधारी टाइगर रिजर्व हैड टू बी क्लोज फॉर सफारीज वाइल्ड लाइफ सफारीज एंड वी कूड रिज्यूम अवर ऑपरेशन रेग्युलर टूरिज्म फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑक्टोबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ड्यू टू सरकमस्टेंसेज दैट हैव अगेन रिसरफेस्ड वी आर फोर्स टू क्लोज वाइल्ड लाइफ सफारीज फ्रॉम फिफ्टींथ ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन बट यू आर अवेयर लास्ट टाइम Tiger Reserve administration had made an effort to live stream wildlife safaris for the benefit of nature lovers across the country and across the world on similar lines we would like to resume Tadoba 4K live series a new season from this week and we would like to give this experience to the viewers as close as possible to the real wildlife safaris that you do in real time from our team at tadoba andari tiger reserve we would like to wish everyone a safe stay at home take care of yourself your loved ones in these difficult times and uh, hopefully we will see you in the next season when we are able to resume our operations uh, in a normal way so that you can also enjoy your wildlife safaris just uh, as you were doing it before uh, covid 19 thank you नमस्ते ताड़ोबा अंधारी व्याघ्र प्रकल्प में आपका स्वागत है मैं राजू गाइड सिरखाड़ा गेट ताड़ोबा अंधारी व्याघ्र प्रकल्प ये गेट शुरू हुआ तब से दो दो हज़ार उन्नीस में शुरू हुआ तब से बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस परफॉर्मेंस रहा इसका इसमें जो भी एनिमल्स है सांबर डियर है स्पॉटेड डियर है इंडियन गोर है ये सब देखने को मिलते हैं और इस साल में भी सबसे अच्छा साइटिंग रहा दस दस टाइगर देखने को मिला और सबसे ताड़ोबा में अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस रहा ये जो अपना सिरखाड़ा गेट था ये सबसे बेहतर रहा अगर इस सीजन में अगर कोई टाइगर नहीं देखा ऐसी कोई बात ही नहीं हुई जो भी आए कोई भी आए तो टाइगर देख के चले चले गए सफ़र इतनी बे, बेहतर सफर हुई और आ, बहुत ही बढ़िया और थैंक यू सर हेलो फोक्स ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे हियर वी आर बैक अगेन विद द तारोबा अपडेट्स थ्रू आर टी ए टी आर फोर के लाइव यूट्यूब चैनल द कोविड नाइन्टीन केसेस आर ऑन द स्पाइक इन इंडिया एंड वी रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू स्टे होम एंड सेव फ्रॉम द पैंडमिक For the tiger lovers, Taroba has offered brilliant sightings in the last few months. One of the very sought areas for tourism 
which offered great chance of seeing tigers this season is a gate called Sirkara Gate. So as we enter the gate, the first animals that we encounter is the wild dogs. Here we are seeing a pack of three wild dogs, out of which one could be the alpha male, another an alpha female and a pack member. Sirkhara is a paradise not just for the tigers but also other vivid fauna. This gate opened in March 2019. Since then, we have seen a lot of visitors enjoying this part of Taduba. The Sirkhara gate lies to the northeastern part of Taduba landscape and we have documented Plentiful of mammals including the tigers, leopards, sloth bears, wild dogs, Indian gaur, and along with the resident and migratory bird species. With numerous water bodies present here, Sirkara offers a perfect habitat for tigers and its inhabitants. Here we see a male Nilgai which is just turned into an adult grazing out near the Neem Talar. Yet another beautiful bird of the Sirkara is the Indian Roller. The Indian rollers have got their name because of the acrobatics that they do in the air during the courting season. Here we see the Indian roller probably trying to feed its chick in the natural cavity of the tree. This particular species was earlier called the blue jay. It has beautiful turquoise blue colors wings when it flies. Sirkara is not only famous for its tigers but also other herbivore population and some of the rare encounters with the rare sightings of honey badgers and also porcupines. Here we see a limping spotted deer just trying to escape from the vehicle. The whole herd has come here to quench their thirst. What you just heard is the rutting call of the spotted deer. The males of the spotted deer gives out loud rutting calls in order to impress the females and also challenge the other males in the area. This bird here is often referred to as 
the water crow and also called as a little cormorant. The little cormorant are small sized birds which are known to dive deep in waters in order to catch fishes. They have webbed feet just like the swans or the ducks which helps them in swimming. These birds are also known to be some of the bravest birds which dive deep in the sea following the fishes. At times some of the smaller fishes get stuck on the sharks in order to avoid predation. Whereas these birds are very brave enough to go and grab the fishes that get stuck onto the sharks. Right now what you are seeing is the cormorant which is out in the sun basking because it was in the water and also regulating the body temperature by releasing the heat through its mouth. A beautiful migratory bird with a long white tail and a black crested head is the Indian Paradise Flycatcher. These flycatchers are the semi migrants that visit Tadoba. This is a male which has a white body with a long white tail, whereas the females have a shorter tail with a rufous colored body. They have a beautiful purplish eye ring around the eye, and inside the mouth it is bright yellow. We are now heading to an area called the Jharan. This Jharan area has a lot of water as this is a catchment area which collects the water. The Jharan has tall evergreen trees like the Jamun and also Mahua and Crocodile Bark tree. As we were approaching this area, we heard the roar of the tiger. We waited and this tigress came out of the thickets. This is a tigress called Choti Rani. Choti Rani was born to Patlin Bai and Dhadiyal two and a half years ago. She separated from the mother last monsoon and settled down in an area in the edge of the mother's territory. Apart from the mother's territory, she also covered an area which had no female prior to this. With the tiger being in the water, we hear the distress call of the spotted deer at a distance. She is approximately 3 years of age and was seen mating with a male tiger a few weeks ago. She is an excellent hunter, often preying upon nilga and wild birds around her area. She had arrived at the Jharan water body to quench her thirst. After quenching the thirst, she has decided to cool off the summer heat by spending time in the water. It looks like she is looking for a right place to sit.
it is 45 degrees in Chandrapur district which is unbearable for the tigers. Hence, most of the tigers spend around 6 to 8 hours a day sitting in the water to cool themselves off. tiger has finally decided to move out of the water. She is now seen resting under the thickets and grooming herself. Grooming is a very important behavior seen in the tigers and they have to do it on the day to day life. Grooming helps the tigers to keep their coat clean. It also helps them in healing fresh wounds or cuts on their body. You can see her on the left side of her face is a wound probably which has happened during a hunt or a fight. Small cuts and wounds are common in animals and the immunity in the body being very high helps in healing faster than human beings. The tigers lick the body parts which have to be cleaned and also the places where there are wounds. It is getting warmer and the tiger has decided to rest under the bamboo thickets. We shall leave her to rest and carry our patrolling in another area of the same buffer. We are now going to one of the well-known areas of Sirkhada called Kon Patil Dalav. Located close to Karwa and Pangdikor, the Kon Patil area has many water bodies which is favorable for the tigers and the herbivores. Patlinbai, a tiger who resides in this area, is known to be around 14 to 15 years old and has littered five times. Along with Patlinbai lives 
a charismatic handsome male tiger called Dhadiyal. Dhadiyal in Marathi refers to a long beard around the face of the tiger. The rough covering the face looks as if it is properly shaped on a regular basis. Presently, Patlin Bai is raising her fifth litter of two male subadults who are ready to disperse in the coming days. She has also mated with the male tiger and is getting ready for a new litter. One of the most interesting and rarely documented behaviors is observed in this tiger family. Usually, the tiger cubs separate from the mother around 16 to 18 months of age. You might also see some of the tigers still taking care of the subadults of around 20 to 22 months old. But in this case, Patlin by two subadults out of the four from the previous litter dispersed when they were 14 to 16 months of age. The third subadult stayed back a little longer and later found a territory around the mother's territory. The fourth shy and the male tiger, also called as Bhim, has not shown the signs of dispersal. He stays with the mother and helps the mother in taking care of the young subadults of the current litter. It is a rarely seen behavior in the big cats, especially tigers. Tigers being solitary and territorial, push their cubs out and get ready for a new litter as soon as possible. Here is a rare documentation of the subadult of the previous litter, Bhim, taking care of the two subadults of the present litter when the mother is away. Looking at these behaviors, many questions arise. Why does this behavior occur? What will the mother do to the subadult from the previous litter? How long will the family bond remain? Are the tigers becoming semi-social? Etc. Yes, it is a very interesting behavior, but not unusual. It has been observed not only in this particular family, but also in some of the tigers of Taduba. This behavior is also recorded in the other central Indian parks and in South India too. The answer for all these questions make us realize how less do we know about these magnificent cats. When the male cubs are submissive and non-intrusive to the parents, the parents allow them to be around them. The parents are fine till the male subadults hormones kick in. When the hormonal changes happen in the subadults, they become very difficult to handle. It is only the docile male cubs that tend to stay back with their parents. Sometimes, rarely the litters of tigresses will have docile cubs. Such coalitions are a manifestation of accommodative individuals on both the sides. Some aggressive females do not tolerate male cubs despite their docile nature. The male subadult can live with the female till she comes back to the Easters again. By then, 
the hormonal changes would have occurred in the sub adult and he will leave on his own or the father intervenes and pushes him away for a successful dispersal of a sub adult it also depends on the environment they live in dispersal of the sub adults is attempted unsuccessfully in summers whereas the monsoon being a season of plenty is a good time for a successful dispersal and hence most of the times we rarely see the young subadults in the mother's territory the mother hunts for the cubs of the present litter the subadult like bean might also hunt and allow the cubs to feed when the mother is away he remains the guardian and does not hurt the cubs this majorly happens in high tiger density area and the males of the previous litter try their luck and stretch their time before they leave in search of their territories till they find a territory they remain docile and become subordinates of the father The question that remains for us is will this bond continue to remain the same till the monsoon how far will it continue and the answers for that will be known post this monsoons we hope you have enjoyed this special episode and a rarely documented behavior of the tigers next time you are in tadoba do explore this wonderland called sarkara please subscribe our youtube channel for more updates until then goodbye stay home and stay safe